Hello and welcome to episode 6 of The Daily Z. My name is Zipporah and I am your host. I am a growth strategist for ambitious entrepreneurs who want to up-level their companies. My company is Buzzworthy Media and today I want to talk about your why and why your why is so important. Um, If you haven't read Simon Sinek's Start With Why, it's a very, very important book to read. Um, I highly suggest that you do it no matter what stage of business you're in. If you haven't read it yet, um, go pick it up and uh, and give it a look. If you want the Cliff Notes version of it, he does a very excellent um, TED Talk that kind of sums up everything, um, or the biggest key takeaways, I guess, in that book, um, to go look that up on TED. But your why is so effing important. I can't, I, like, I, I, I'm just overcome with this. I was doing some market research over the weekend and asking people uh, about this when I thought about doing this topic. And um, basically, I just asked, you know, what's your why in business? And I got a lot of very personal reasons. I got, you know, my kids, um, creating a better future for my family, um, I have a purpose on this earth. They were either very vague or very personal. Your This relates back to this um, blog that I did a few weeks ago, which you can check out on my website, youarebuzzworthy.com, um, where I wrote about your business as a separate entity and you need to start treating it that way. So many people in, in solopreneurship, especially online businesses, where they're where they're not going, you know, necessarily out in public at first, they're just kind of promoting themselves online, um, have this very vague why. Um, and they wonder why they are having trouble in business, and, and this is one of the reasons. Your business is not you, and you should never be your business. You can be the captain of the ship of your business, but you should never be what's floating along the water, um, to kind of put it in a very, you know, visual sense there. You can't be the one that's floating on water and holding all of the people inside. You you can captain the ship, but you can't be the ship. Um, and that's what I mean by your business is a separate entity and you need to treat it like one. Um, there's tons more reasons behind that. You can go check out that article if you like. Um, but... Your why in business needs to be why you're focused on doing business, what you're changing about the world, and why other people should care about it. Um, you, you, you can't be in business for a personal reason. Um, it's kind of like, I guess it's kind of like birthing a child. I don't have kids of my own. But I would assume it's like birthing a child. You're very involved in that child's life. You're very committed to its upbringing. But you are not that other human being. And if you are, you probably might need to step back on your parenting skills. Um, <laughs> not to step on any toes there. But really, you're not that human being. You are responsible for creating that human being. You are responsible for teaching that human being the the way of the world and you are responsible for, you know, rearing and, and, and education and, and all of the things that go along with childcare, much like you are in, when you birth a business, you are responsible for bringing it into maturity for, um, you know, giving it things that it can rely on to run on its own. Um, And again, it's like, you know, I said it in the article, it's not like leaving a kid in the kitchen with a hot stove on. You have to be present, but you should not be that business. So your why really has to be, why do people care? Why should people care about what you do? Why should people care about why you are in business? Let me tell you something. People don't give two shits about you. They give two shits about what your outcome is for them. They give two shits about themselves. Um, So your why has to be, what is it about my business that I'm doing? If you look at, at, you know, big companies and, and their why in business, Apple didn't exist to make computers, Um, and that's, it's, I'm going back to the example that Simon Sinek uses in his, um, example, but, you know, 
his example is so crystal clear. We make great, you know, user-friendly computers that are beautifully designed. Do you want to buy one? Meh. We challenge the status quo. We also happen to make computers that are user-friendly and beautifully designed. I'm paraphrasing there, obviously. He says it much better than I do. But um, the point is, is that you're much more interested in being part of something that has meaning to you. So if you're the type of person that wants to challenge status quo, then you're probably more likely to be an Apple user. Um, if you're the type of person that likes to have a status symbol in their hand on their commute to work in the morning, you're probably a Starbucks drinker. If you don't really care about that or, you know, you, you won't be embarrassed by the McDonald's cup in your hand. There are reasons behind every brand and every business that is out there. And if you don't have a clear why as to why people should follow you, you're not going to last in business very long. Now, I'm not saying that great marketing won't kind of get you to a certain degree. But if you don't have a true why you're in business... If you're not out there to change something with your business, you're not going to be in business for very long. So make sure that you have a clear understanding of your why and, and that you are birthing and rearing a business to be able to run on its own. So if you want to learn more about that, go check out that article that I wrote about your business as a separate entity and treat it like one. You can always follow me here. Subscribe to the channel below. Um... To get more updates, we do this show Monday through Friday, every day before lunch, um, so you can have your sandwich and watch a little bit of business uh, tips on the Daily Z. Thanks, guys, for watching. Don't forget to subscribe below, and I will see you tomorrow morning. Bye.